Okay, so um, if I was in a romantic relationship and I went into a state of um, profound bliss and peace, and it almost felt like I didn't want to be in the relationship any longer, the romantic relationship. Um, there's a few things. I mean, with Hawkins, um, I mean, he did, I mean, he was just blown to such a high vibration that he left his family and went off into the desert. I think that was one of the things where that was kind of obvious for him that uh, that was the thing to do. He was like being swept by a sea beyond anything that was ego, that was left in him that was ego. I mean, that can happen. But I would say from another point of view, you have to see what's the context and uh, pray for a miracle and guidance and see and to see the situation in truth. Um, uh, relationships or special relationships or even non-special, not, not that special relationships, should be, um, I would say, handled very carefully and uh, uh, quick moves or compulsive moves not made if one wants to leave a relationship. Um, it's good to, um, or one doesn't feel the, you know, one's on such a different wavelength now that one doesn't want to be there. I mean, I think um, it's really the thing of what I call karmic permission and um, whether or not one should, um, there is a certain, um, uh, there are certain things like karmic oaths, karmic contracts, uh, karmic setups as well to bear in mind. And sometimes um, uh, also one shouldn't be unnecessarily cruel to another individ individual. So it's like seeing what's in the interest of the highest good. Sometimes if you've, you're in a really good relationship, um, then, um, uh, you know, communication without being cruel, I think is, is, is good. And also um, I think that if you, I mean, sometimes you may have no ego left and what happens is what happens, which is fair enough. But if there is something, if there's guilt there, there's definitely an ego. Uh, so one of the things, if I'm feeling guilt, like I went off to, to a bliss state and I wanted to leave my partner, uh, like a girlfriend, say, not someone I'm married to. Um, now, is that God's will? Is that is that in the interest of the highest good? Mm -hmm. uh, but if there's guilt there, I think that is a signal um, that uh, there isn't sort of clarity. I mean, the guilt is probably saying something. And so should be resolved through either allowing the feelings, the guilt to be experienced and felt out, or um, uh, one way could observe it, uh, pray for a miracle, uh, pray around it, pray for the, uh, if there's a message in the guilt, pray for uh, the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what's in the interest of the highest good with this relationship. Sometimes there's what I call um, it's, it's in the interest of the highest good to serve the other person, uh, even if one doesn't want to, to fulfill something. Um, and, um, you know, you could think of the Lord's Prayer, you know, to do to others what you'd have done unto yourself. Um, if, uh, if you had faithfully served a partner um, and uh, to leave them, I mean, it might be, sometimes it might be right to faithfully serve the partner for a while at least. Or, um, but I, uh, I think the safe way would be, I would do the prayer of um, uh, surrendering any karmas and praying for miracles and transcendence uh, with the partner for a period of time, uh, just to make sure and to, and to pray for uh, God's guidance and clarity on the situation before leaving. Or um, sometimes, you know, if you can give or stay in a relationship um, and uh, from an attitude of service for a period, it might be good. Um, but if there's guilt there, I wouldn't make any ha hasty decisions. Guilt usually is a, is a signal. Sometimes the guilt is not, uh, might be just what your own stuff that you can be transcendent. It's got nothing to do with leaving the other person or not, but it might be. So it might be that something is owed. Maybe this person is here for you in this lifetime to support you, and they have for many other lifetimes been supporting you. So it might be the wrong thing now just to, to leave them now that you're sort of uh, blissed out. 
but sometimes when you're blissed out, you know, something takes over, there is no ego. But if there's guilt there uh, and there's something nagging you, then I would say definitely uh, to do spiritual work and, and transcend that before making any decisions. Um, because, um, yeah, because it's, um, it's harder to rectify damage than it is not to inflict damage. Um, so um, I'm gonna just mute this person, uh, mute. Okay, um, so um, yeah, so just keep, I would keep praying on it and um, communications just to soothe the way. Like if you're born into a very high energy place and you can't really function, you don't wanna meet anyone or even a partner, then just um, an easy explanation. Look, I need some time. I'm going through a lot of, um, a lot of uh, spiritual clearing stuff to do. So um, just give me a week or so and I'll be back uh, when I'm feeling more grounded. Uh, sometimes, you know, with the high spiritual states, they can come and you may feel like leaving everything and going off into the desert. But sometimes, you're, sometimes you go back to a low level and actually you may see it very differently. So you wanna see if your ego settles back in, and into a more inflated state after a week or two, which is actually quite normal. I mean, going off into a sublime blissful state and staying there without a return to some level of ego is more unusual. So, um, so yeah, okay, I'll stop there. <laughs>